Oh, hey, what's up? I didn't see you there. Parents want to give their children the best possible start in life, and that can mean anything nowadays from choosing the right schools to selecting the gender before birth. Emerging technologies have amazing potential, but there are downsides. So this is why it's important to understand the ethical dilemmas that arise from these new technologies. To duke it out today and talk about these topics, we have Aliza Squared, who are gonna explain and take different positions on these topics. For the purposes of this discussion, anytime we talk about gene editing, we're referring to changes to the genome that occur before birth that can be passed down to future progeny. First question, gender selection. Let's say you live in a patriarchal society where women are undervalued. Should parents be allowed to choose the gender of their child before birth? Yes, they should absolutely be able to choose their future child's gender. Because in a society like this, there's probably people choosing gender after the child is born. So if we have the availability of technology to prevent the murder of children. Murder of children. Then I think that we should take advantage of that and choose a gender before they're born so that doesn't have to happen in the future. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I mean, take India or China, for example, where there is a huge preference for um, male children and then that causes the overall population ratio to be insanely skewed. What is this going to do to our population with time? If societies are promoting gender selection, then we're just feeding into the patriarchy as opposed to combating it. We should be cognizant of what we do with society and we should crush the patriarchy. Alisa, that's a, that's a good point. Uh, let's see what the public thinks. I, I'd be okay with a guy or a girl. Do you think other I don't think I have a preference. Do you think other people should be able to do it? Should be able to. Um, Mm, it's a tough question, tough question. I mean, it's important to give equal rights to everyone, be irrespective of the gender, male, female, or otherwise. I truly believe in that, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to give equal opportunity to anybody or the, the newborn, uh, irrespective of the gender, so I wouldn't do it. If you could prevent your child on a genetic level from getting STDs, would you do it? Why or why not? No, my children will not be having sex. And if they do have sex, they will be punished with STDs. Without STDs, how are we going to instill the fear of sex within them? Yeah, I would definitely do that. I mean, STDs can really decrease someone's quality of life and any technology that we could institute to prevent that would be so, so valuable to our society. I mean, we can prevent cancer and infertility caused by STDs. Okay, yeah, that I would do. Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I think, think I would. like a health thing, I think that's a great thing that I would do. Longevity. If you could extend your child's lifetime so that they could live an extra long life, would you do it? Why or why not? I would not do that. Because I think doing that would rip the autonomy out of a 70 or 80 year old person's hands. I don't know if my child would want to live to 150 years, especially if they had a disease or something like Alzheimer's when they were 70 and had to live with that for the next 80 years. Yeah, why wouldn't I want to live longer? I mean, you get more time to accomplish the things that you never got to accomplish in life. Think about how many people die like knowing that they didn't do something that they really wanted to do in life. That's a horrible feeling of regret. And to be able to diminish that sense of regret, I wouldn't see why not. 150. I don't know. I, maybe you'd give me an over under. Maybe uh, 100. 100. 100 to 110. Yeah, all right. That's plenty. That seems like enough. I don't know. I feel like at that point in life, like, I don't think I would do it. What would you be looking forward to? That would be a sad thing. I mean, unless the entire humanity is going to like live till 150 years, why would I want my child to go through that? No. <laughs> and, you know, let's see what some cute, adorable puppies think about all this. It's treat, treat. Oh, so delicious. I love treats. Oh, yes. Give me the treats. Treats, 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 treats. I don't know. Wait, wait. Who wants to say what? Wait, wait let's... let's do this again. You're saying, wait, no, I forget. Sorry, I was laughing at that. Half the time. Oh, <laughs> you made it this far. Thanks for watching our bioethics midterm video. Just as a disclaimer, any of the opinions that we had today are not necessarily our own, but we'd love to give you an exposure to all the opinions that are out there. Thank you so much for watching again, and we hope you start to think about these issues too. Till next time, <laughs> you stay classy. <laughs> Ciao.
Did that sound like a question? Lee, I would not let my children be immune to STDs. Sounds like an evil thing to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Think about these issues. And what do you think? What do you think? And like, give yeah. like, give like, 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 a, what do, what you, do you think? think? Like an eyebrow. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs>